Hello dear viewer. In the last video I mentioned it was time to take off to Briona, a place in the southern part of Switzerland that contains some of the best climbing that you could possibly find. It's got everything from river polished slopey madness to just these crystallized incredible crimps. And the amount of quality lines are seemingly endless. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at one of these lines that's actually a hidden gem in the valley. It's completely unknown, ungraded, and it has some of those perfect crimps. crimps. It's almost like they were cut out like a few slices of heaven, if you will. We'll also follow a recent friend of ours called Sam as he battles his way through this boulder. But yeah, let's start talking about the climb. In short, it is quite tall and so with zero knowledge of its difficulty we decided to first check out the top a little bit before just getting on it. It's a bit of a no fall zone at the top so because you would fall in shallow water so we decided to start off by rappelling down on a rope and just checking out the moves to see if it was yeah if it was even possible or if we would kind of die when trying it. But yeah it basically didn't seem to pose too much of an issue so I started trying the moves to see if it was as good as it looked and indeed it was. The line has these like in-cut crimps that you really have to dig in on a little bit and then some kind of offset feet which makes the transitions between the holds a little bit tricky. Not too hard actually but just tricky. You get to this like weird undercut that's actually surprisingly nice to grab which I guess is one of the first slightly harder moves to just adjust your body weight into that. And then you just move your feet around to do a pretty big move into kind of a slopey crimp is what I'd call it. It is a sloper and it's completely river polished. You have to hit it quite well. But once you get it, it's a little bit in cut and you can kind of get some texture from your hands on it. Anyway, once you have this, it's more a matter of keeping calm because the last couple of moves aren't too bad. They're more about figuring out to how to move efficiently and to not flop off because the holds are good enough for you to kind of campus between so it's it's really just about a matter of focus up there but yeah i guess now you know why i think this boulder is a bit of a banger and uh, now that you do let's start the session and see see how it goes for for me and my friend sam ah uh, hello hello how are things in the warm-up cave uh warm sort of <laughs> Um, who are you? Why, why, why are you in my video? <laughs> <laughs> why am I? Uh, I guess I've been hanging out with you guys yeah. for the last three weeks, something like that. Yeah. Are you gonna try first? Um, I think I'm gonna try the to top out on the rope first. Okay. To see how it feels. Yeah. And let you know of the beta. <laughs> That's good. And then uh, I think we'll try the crux move, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay, basically I've uh, <laughs> I've tried it once from the ground and I've done the top out. I guess it was, yeah, it was, I, I flopped off a hold once and it, 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 it killed me. Yeah. It looks so sick. The top out was super clean and easy, but also kind of aerial, which is nice. So we're going to remove the rope and then uh, start trying it from the bottom. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Come on, dude. Come on. Slippery. Come on, just go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Why hasn't this seen so much traffic, you might ask? And the reason is that the water levels are usually a little bit higher 
and they have been in the past anyways. So the landing has just been impossible to, to create. And also, based on rumors, it seems like some climbers had been there to build it up by tossing down all the rocks at the bottom. Uh, I estimated the difficulty to be around 7b to 7c. It was quite hard to tell because of the harsh winds that were kind of pushing us off the rocks, but it's somewhere around there. And that's pretty much all I had to say about this banger. Now let's check out how things are going for Sam. And into the cave we go. What's going on so far? So I did the first move, which is fine. And then the switching to the undercling, I'm not sure about yet, but the far move is really fun and it like barn doors you kind of, yeah. but you can kind of catch it, I think. Yeah. Uh, which is, yeah, but it needs some body tension. And then I get my feet back on, or my left foot and switch the feet. Got this crimpy right. pinch thing on it the right. It's really trashy, I didn't touch that one. You didn't touch that one? No, you I just went with the left hand? Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. Because the crimp is good. What was it, like half a pad or something maybe? Yeah. Either I'm too weak or not warm enough to hold that one right now. <laughs> it's quite windy, so. Um, yeah, which, yeah. but it's I mean, the spot where you actually climb is fine, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's much more windy, and then on the top out, I think, yeah, the wind's gonna be the biggest danger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, dude. Come on. Get to the crimp. Yes! Ah! Come on, come on. I feel your pain, brother. <laughs> I feel your pain. <laughs> yeah, good. Come on, come on. Come on. Go for it, go for it. It's good, it's good. <sighs> no. What do you need to do? I think I'm gonna try to go for the for the campus move, campus move straight away because I tried this foot, but this this whatever yeah. this is. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on, go for it, go for it. Stick it, stick it. Come on. Ugh. Oh no. I don't have power to pull up from there. Like, I'm... Okay, so when I get the crimp, I'm way too low with, if I have my feet on the start holds. Yeah. So I'm gonna get that right foot up to this shitty, shitty shit. <laughs> and it, it just to get some height and just push off with a bit. Feeling some progress though, right? Oh yeah, definitely. It's just... It's just slow because you kind of climb in, not into the crux, but into what I'm working on right now. And so yeah. it takes a long time, which I'm also good at taking a long time to figure <laughs> out the moves. So I've, lear <laughs> so I've learned. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, but that's fine. Everything goes in the end, so yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude, ah! come on. Oh. I hit it on the... Come on, come on. Left hand out, left hand out, come on. No! No! I don't know. I'm really unstable. I'm like, I can't control my, uh, my rotate, yeah, my rotation. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, you're, you're calling it quits for today, or? Yeah, so um, Emil is too strong and too big for the actual beta. <laughs> <laughs> so the first move, he does what I have to do in two moves, basically, yeah. to get the left hand at the right spot. Um, and it's too far for me. Yeah. I mean, I can I can reach it, but then I can't move. I'm just like 100 max out. So we do some cool back flag move, but this hand is just tired today. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, come back tomorrow and crush it. Yeah, we'll crush this tomorrow. Go 
Come on, dude. Come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Come on, Sam. <laughs> Fuck yeah, come on. Yeah. So good. Dude, talk about delivering. Fuck, that was first try of the day. That was, I just came in with a camera, I was like, oh, another hour on this thing. And you just crush it on the first attempt. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> nice, uh, one, one yeah. of these. Thanks. <laughs> Whew. Dude, right. the top out, it's just celebration up there. It's, yeah. it's so nice to walk up there, it's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. So I assume we're all quite happy with Sam's ascent of this boulder and I figured I'd include just a little bit of more who he is so you know him a little bit better. Basically he's only climbed for about two, slightly more than two years and he's a really psych dude who... Do you want it? How much? Too much? That's, that's not good. Um, so here I wanted to include an ascent of a boulder called Entwash, which was an 8A that he did in Brione in one of our first days. Uh, we, this was the first session I was with him on it and he was just really psyched and managed to get it down. Uh, and I luckily had the camera with me, so I just felt like, yeah, let's have this in here. I just wanted to say that Sam's striving towards becoming a full-time climbing photographer. So if any of you out there are looking to hire someone, then I'll link his Instagram below and just get in touch with him. I'm sure he's got a lot of a lot of psych to share and, and um, yeah, he's just a, he's a good man. All you got, all you got, come on, come on, come on, dude. And I guess if you just want to support him and you're not, not looking to hire someone, then uh, he's just a really psyched climber and I think following him on Instagram is a, is a good choice. And I guess, yeah, just leave him some love in the comments. Okay, come on, dude. Come on. Yes! Yeah, dude! Yes! Anyway, I feel like I've hyped up this man enough. And honestly, our relationship has been based a lot more on teasing. So I feel like I gotta take him down the peg. So yeah, let's enjoy this clip of Sam struggling on another 7C slash plus called Tos Servala. So before you weren't frustrated. No! <laughs> <laughs>